Hello, welcome back to another smashing episode of Nonsense for Nonsense. Today, we are going to talk about the Brussels International Fantastic Film Festival. The festival that started on the 7th of April to the 19th of April, where they're showing at least six films a day, which are horror, thriller, science fiction, films with the horror and death, which drive you mad or makes you look under your bed every time you go to sleep at night, thinking that there's a monster there in your cupboard at the same time. So let's go down these stairs right here and see what the beef has in store for us. Deuxième fois, et euh, par rapport à l'ambiance, l'intéressant que les gens ont avec les films, comment pensez-vous de ça Vraiment l'atmosphère du bif L'atmosphère du bif, elle est super. Les gens, euh, bah, ils sont fans de cinéma, ça s'entend. Parfois, il y a des commentaires qui pouvaient euh, ne pas être euh, dits pendant les films, qui sont un peu plus sérieux, mais en général, euh, ça me fait bien rire. Quand on crie la porte et qu'une porte reste ouverte pendant le film. Ouais, voilà. D'abord les films. Là pour les films, l'ambiance est évidemment assez euh, atypique. D'ailleurs, je pense que tous les réalisateurs qui viennent ici, que ce soit les invités, les réalisateurs, les acteurs, disent que c'est vraiment euh, extraordinaire. Euh, ça, ça reste, euh, même si c'est parfois un peu parfois aussi. Il y a des films qui se font parfois descendre, euh, qui sont bons. Voilà, c'est tout est une question d'ambiance. Euh, ouais, c'est pour, pour ça que je viens précisément en bif, c'est pour l'ambiance. C'est mmh. ça qui est génial, d'avoir la salle qui hurle et euh, tous les gens qui crient et des choses. Nous on vient plutôt pour l'ambiance euh, qu'il y a dans la salle et euh, on attend toujours d'être un peu surpris. Mm -hmm. On a des films euh, un petit peu décalés par rapport à ce qu'on a l'habitude de voir. C'est un principe à l'attente. C'est ça qui est extraordinaire. Il y a, des inter... Il y a souvent des interactions qui sont d'une drôlerie euh, absolue. C'est un public de fans. C'est vraiment des gens qui sont capables de réagir avec les, avec les références, avec les, avec les films. Et, et c'est souvent euh, complètement surréaliste. Quoi. Donc, euh, Ouais, c'est surtout ça qui est intéressant, c'est les cris des gens dans la salle, euh, l'interaction qu'il y a, c'est vraiment particulier, il faut vraiment pour ça. Oui, c'est tout, tout un show, hein. c'est ça que j'adore. Euh, c'est pas comme aller au cinéma euh, classique, enfin, c'est ça, c'est vraiment le, tout ce qui est autour aussi qui est, qui est intéressant. Finalement, les films, c'est presque secondaire. Enfin, il faut que le film soit bien, mais s'il est pas bien, au moins le public rattrape euh, ce qu'on rigole. Hein. Et ce qui est bien, c'est que c'est surtout les, les fans du cinéma qui viennent et qui restent jusqu'au bout et qui applaudissent. C'est euh, ça qui me plaît en fait. Mm -hmm. C'est de voir. Euh, et quel est le film qui vous a frappé le plus au niveau peur au niveau, au niveau peur, euh, hein je crois que c'est Babadook. 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 C'est le genre de film où tu vas rentrer chez toi, tu vas regarder en dessous de lit chaque fois et dans voilà, le mois. Voilà, mm -hmm. genre s'il n'y a pas un livre bizarre qui est arrivé euh, dans ma bibliothèque euh, mm -hmm. avec un monstre euh, Babadook. Et euh, c'est plutôt psychologique je trouve, parce que c'est une histoire avec une femme seule et son enfant hyperactif, mm -hmm. qui est euh, vraiment euh, très nerveux et euh, ce livre qui arrive comme par magie dans la maison avec l'histoire de Babadook qui veut s'incruster par tous les moyens. Et euh, franchement, euh, les 20 dernières minutes, c'est euh, coupé dessus. Et depuis que vous venez au BIF, quel est le film qui vous a frappé en fait Votre film préféré du BIF euh, C'est une, ouais, une très bonne sais, question. Ouais. Ouais, c'était euh, vraiment c'était au tout début, je pense que c'était en 2003. Et pour vous dire le nom du film, c'était quelque chose genre uh, Road 66 ou, uh, ou non, c'était Interstate, uh, Interstate 60, 61, 61, un truc comme ça. On a énormément apprécié le film coréen Sea Fog. Il y a un mélange de films sociaux et qui bascule dans l'horreur. C'est très original et très très grand, très très solide. Alors pour moi, ça sera le, le meilleur film du vif. Voilà. So now I'm here with Saïd and Patrick from the Brussels Mental. I ask him a question because I understand that you guys have been coming here for several years now to take part uh, in different interviews with directors and all that from the beef and to give a bit of a story of what's going on around here. We try to do that, but it's uh, our second year. Second year? Uh, last year we did uh, La Nuit, mm -hmm. the night, the beef night. The beef night, um, yeah. This time we're here seven days, uh, seven evenings uh, on the whole festival. Seven evenings on the whole festival. And what would you say is the, the biggest aspect that you like most about the beef, the, the atmosphere itself? It's a real festival. It's a real festival? I think that's, uh, that's special for a, 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 a movie festival, mm -hmm. is that it's 
uh, to me it's looking like a, and the feeling is like a rock festival. Like a rock festival. And how do you and, say it? Yeah? And for me, it's always that I'm more into music, you know. Yeah. So that's incredible as the Biff Festival is really really the same stuff that I'm listening all years old. <laughs> yeah. It's metal music, art rock music uh -huh. and uh, fantasy music, of course. You believe you are that that's... So, I'm here to put some music uh, about the movies. Mm -hmm. uh, if there is a thema about zombie, are we gonna find some very zombie music, you know, in rock and roll? Mm -hmm. And that's what I like since '85 or '86, I think. Yeah. And what would you say, for example, uh, for a zombie movie? What would be the best song to put with a zombie movie? What would be oh, your something suggestion? Like Wednesday 13 or Wednesday 13? Yeah, Frankenstein, the Queen from Planet 13. Now, uh -huh. really, really rock and roll with all the stuff that's sphere mm -hmm. about fantasy music and zombie. Movies, I love them. <laughs> I love the zombies, they never kill me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You're immortal, you can't die. <laughs> totally unstoppable. <laughs> and what do you think is interesting about the fact that uh, the people here have an, an amazing interaction, one with the movies and two with the entire organization, the way that the beef is made? Well, it, um, I, I don't know beef for that long, but mm -hmm. um, to me, it, um, it started with a, a very organic core. And it evolved to something very big, uh, and I think people like that, okay. and that's why um, they, they come and stay and come again. What movie do you want to see? Well, um, the movie I want to see was A Hard Day. Uh, one one of the guys, <laughs> <laughs> Mini and the Mugen. Mini and the Mugen. I Sounds want to horrific. go there. <laughs> <laughs> With children, I will be the only one will be afraid. <laughs> I want I, I want to see a, a hard day. A hard day. To be a, a die hard to the to the square. I yeah. want to say mm -hmm. that's one of those I I, uh, I really want to see. And that this one is actually talking about us. It's the, called the Terror Live. The Terror Live. It's a radio DJ mm -hmm. who is on the phone with a terrorist. The terrorist. We're not terrorists. We're uh, just making radio, but it's uh, funny that there is a movie like that. A movie like that. We're waiting for uh, some terrorists to do some publicity. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you were walking down the street and you'll still be looking over your shoulder. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, even looking under your bed at night after seven after this two weeks of beef, yeah, Brussels International Fantastic Film Festival, where you'll be looking behind your closet or looking under your bed because there might be a monster there. So. Or a Babadook. A yeah. Babadook. Babadook, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. a very fucking good yeah, movie, yeah, yeah. by the way. And nothing so, in the fridge again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible. There are beasts during the night mm. are coming in my apartment mm. to take all the food away, you know? I can't believe it. <laughs> it's totally messed up, yeah. If, so, if I can, uh, sorry. No, if go I ahead, guys. One. Honeymoon. Honeymoon, yeah. Very brutal. Movie. Very, very, very brutal. When I saw the trailer for that, you see the woman, she's attached to a, like a string like that, and you just see her shoulder dislocate. And you feel that pain that she has, that scream. It's not the only pain in the movie, I yeah. can assure you. I can assure you. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, just torture porn. That is absolute torture uh, porn, all the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Snuff. Uh, Sorry? At the end. Snuff or not? <laughs> oh, okay. There's never enough. There is never enough torture porn in that. So I'd like to thank both of you for taking part You're in welcome. the show. You're welcome. And I'd like to tell the viewers to go see their show at FM Muscles Mental. I'll put a link down below and a link right here to select on it. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. And have a kick ass beef. Thank you. We are now in the second week uh, of the beef, and uh, are you happy with how the festival is going and how the atmosphere is here? Atmosphere, uh, I mean, I could only be happy always because this is uh, typically from from our festival, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Many festivals uh, uh, are jealous a little bit of our <laughs> audience because the audience here is very participative, you know. Mm -hmm. they, they, they they like to express themselves. It's a bit like uh, you know the the. Um, the old movie uh, you've seen in the in the last century, you know, where yeah. people came and, and I could drink in the theater, could smoke, could shout, you know. <laughs> this is a bit like the same spirit, like uh, when the, f the the movie the cinema starts, mm -hmm. and uh, and especially because uh, you know the, the genre of fantasy, you know, and mm -hmm. science um, and science fiction, uh, is born is born with the, with the movie. Mm -hmm. Think about the George Méliès; he's the first one who made the first science fiction movie, you know, with his magic. Uh, 
uh, touch, you know. Mm -hmm. he, he, he was the one who, who, who inspired many other people, you know. Mm -hmm. So for the, I'm always happy because every place we went, you know, this is a third, it's in 33 years, the, the third place we changed. Yeah. Before it was at the Passage 44, yeah. uh, near the Botrig, Botrig mm -hmm. Second time was the um, Tour Taxi. You know the place, mm -hmm. and now we're here since uh, three years. Since three years, and yeah. the, it seems that the people bring their own humor, their own uh, this 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 kind of things, which make them naturally this help. Because we, when we, we invest a place, you know, it's always a very strange place. Mm -hmm. That's why we feel good, like here, because this is a place where it seems that uh, if, you, if you if you think about your imagination, it could some monster or the ghost can can come from everywhere. Yeah. Sometimes it happens, but they are not real ghosts. They mm -hmm. are people from the from the audience <laughs> with these guys, and you know, so we never know who are the, who are the real one and the fake one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but this help this help the people to. <clears throat> To, to express, to, to really to be, to be feeling like home, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, that's why I'm not, I'm not I mean, I, I can only be happy that uh, the atmosphere is still there after 33 years, mm -hmm. uh, which is not easy. And also because we, we let them, people uh, to express themselves. We are not here to, to, uh, to, to tell them what they have to say, what they have to not say. No, this is a place where a, a movie, I mean, a festival of movie, it's first of all in the world, in the world of festival, well, mm -hmm. you have the world, uh, the world's uh, f feast. It means it's a big feast here, mm -hmm. because that's why they, also we have uh, not only films, but we have all this kind of stuff here, work, roll, running around like a ball of empire, <laughs> a body makeup contest, mm -hmm. uh, uh, meeting with the directors and the, uh, the actors. You know? this, all these things participate for the people to, to feel really relaxed, you know, and, mm -hmm. and this makes the festival unique unique in such a way that uh, people have a way to interact yeah, and yeah, bring yeah. their love sure. for this festival. But I can imagine that organizing such an event is very crucial and also takes a lot of work, a lot of time to do so. And I can imagine that the team is very big, but I noticed that there's a lot of volunteers that come yeah. also to help for the creation of the yeah, without volunteer, this kind of festival is not possible. Mm -hmm. And we have not too much, I would say, difficulty to find them. Mm -hmm. Because some of them are the ones from the first, first, which 33 years ago, yeah. you know? They're still there. <laughs> so maybe, maybe a little bit older. Yeah. But then they take in charge, the youngest one. Mm -hmm. And every year we have a lot of people who want to see behind the scene how it works to run a festival, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a very good spirit. It's about 150 volunteers. 150, not bad. About, yeah, about, uh, 30, 40, 20, 20, 20 mm -hmm. you know, uh, from, from schools of cinema, of, uh, of uh, communication, of uh, language, you know, mm -hmm. and all these people uh, together, you know, also because they really like the atmosphere, they're coming by their own. It's volunteers, so we can't pay them. We, don't, we, we, can't offer, we can afford, you know, to, and, and to pay them. So it, they really come after their works, you know, they're coming after, after a lot of things they have to do. They consecrate themselves. Okay, this is the evening for the beef, you know, and not only for the beef, but for because they know that they, they, there are one piece, one piece of this of this uh, big puzzle, big, uh, big, uh, uh, I would say, a structure, who makes the people uh, now running like mad, you know, yeah. uh, since 33 years. Mm -hmm. Some of the people uh, I met sometime in the street. When is the festival? Do you have the dates already? I have to. Some of them, uh, you know, they're taking holiday, just holiday to be here. I have to book my holiday, and so it's a, it's nice for us. It's a kind of reward, you know. Mm -hmm. really. These are really true beef people who want to oh, fight yeah. for the creation sure. of this festival. And it's communicative, you know. Also, mm -hmm. so other people who came for the first time, you know, they're a bit curious in the beginning, no? But once they they catch by the, this kind of atmosphere, you know, mm -hmm. they surely come back in the next year and the next time, uh, and then they come back with other friends, with some family people. Mm -hmm. It's something um, which unique people. You know? mm -hmm. So in the end, I actually have one question for you, one yeah. final one. Can you show the shirt, the back of your shirt, what it says to the camera? <laughs> one, two, three. The shit has hit the fan. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> and I Welcome. hope you have a very good day. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. Cheers. See you. Cheers. Bye -bye. Okay, I'll be nice.